We're a little late getting started, but he is good today, amen? In the house, he is God with us, and we're glad that you're with us too. We're going to worship the Lord now, so can you join us as we sing?
thorn church. He came, he died, he resurrected. As a dear Panthers, let us seek him. Can you stand if you can in the house today? Can you seek him just as the deer seeks water? Let's seek our Lord. Take for us. You're sure welcome to take this communion today. This is 
in remembrance, you know, knowing he is God music. with us. Yeah. And we will celebrate him as God with us. And you, you all can go ahead and serve us today if you would like. present with us as we are ready to partake. And the way that he made that happen was through his blood. And I'm going to read a passage in Ephesians 2 and verse 13. The Bible says this, But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Once we were far away, but now because Jesus came as a baby, he lived and he died. He paid that price with His blood so that we could be brought near to Him. Today, you don't have to be far away or feel far away, even if things seem pretty silent right now. You know, we sing the song, Silent Night, but really, does that mean God wasn't there? He was there in a beautiful way in that, in that, uh, on that night Jesus was born. And he is here today. He is with us today. And we celebrate Him as we get ready to partake of this. Remember, he's with us here. And I want to read the passage we read at communion time. Has everybody been served that needs to be? Thank you, Lord. been served that needs to be served today? Did you get your We did. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man, let a woman examine themselves, and so let them eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, give us a gratitude. Give us grateful hearts today. If you're out there watching us on the internet, I just encourage you, inviting them. He is here. Wherever you are here, He is there with you. And we just ask, Lord, you reveal yourself for those watching out there as well, dear God, that you are present with them, whatever they're going through. He proved it with his body today, church. And as we get ready to partake, this little cracker that you have in your hand, it's a symbol of the body of Jesus. The Bible tells us that he lived among us with a real body. It's like you have a body that has pain, it has good times and goes through the things that we go through. He had that too. And he is, he in every way felt what we feel. But he made it through without sin to be that sacrifice. Can you be grateful for him today and the body he gave for us on the cross? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I do want to pray for each one today that if anyone, dear God, has anything that needs to be dealt with today, any one thing against anybody or against you, Lord, that, Lord, you will reveal that to them they can deal with that now in the name of Jesus. Could you just do that? Could you just give it to the Lord today? Anything that might inhibit you from, from partaking of this in a pure way, he's here. He's here to bring healing and restoration to our souls today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness you bring through us. Oh, shut up. Hallelujah. Lord, you bring restoration, healing, and, and to our hearts, dear God, that if we have something against anybody, dear God, that we let that go in the name of Jesus, that we have a true communion with you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. As we get ready to partake of uh, this cracker and juice, may they be a, a resounding symbol of, of praise in your presence here in this house. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
We're going to about to pray for this, and after we pray, we'll all eat together. Sister Olana, would you mind to pray for us for the bread? Jesus, right now as we come before you, God, Lord, we thank you, dear God, for that your body was broken for us, dear God, for that your body was, for that your body was wounded. It wasn't broken, dear God, but it was wounded for us, dear God, for our transgressions, dear God. Your stripes were to forgive us healing, dear God. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you, dear God, Lord, that you took our sin upon yourself, dear God, Lord, that we we may have eternal life, that we don't have to suffer, dear God, for the things that we have done, dear God, but Lord, that you took them in our place, dear God. And Lord, I thank you, dear God, that you became that sacrifice for us. Lord. And God, as we apply this bread to our body, dear God, Lord, as we apply your your body to our bodies, dear God, Lord, we ask that you would just bless it, dear God, Lord, anoint us, dear God, Lord, for your glory and your honor, dear God, Lord, that we would go to do what you would have us to do, what you have called us to do, dear God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's eat together. His name is Emmanuel, as that song he's playing says, he is Emmanuel. He showed he was with us by giving his blood, just as you and I have the blood. He gave his for us. He gave his for us. Thank you. You gave your life. You gave everything so that we might have life. Life in the blood. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. And as today we get ready to partake of this, it's a symbol of Jesus' blood he shed for us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Let it wash you. Let it minister to you today as we partake and commune with him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Linda, I invite you. Would you pray for us, please, for this part? Yes. Blessed, blessed Lord Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you came, willingly came. You left your throne in heaven, came to this earth, lived on this earth as a man, and then you willingly went to the cross because you loved us enough. You gave your all everything you had. You have poured out every drop of your blood for us, for the forgiveness of sin, yes. so we yes. should be reconciled yes. with God the Father, yes. so that we now can partake of this and be joint heirs, as your word tells us, and be reconciled to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You gave your everything for us. You poured out your life. You were our example. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, and may we use this blood to cover all our sins because you took them all to Calvary. Yes, Lord. You, you took did. them all there. You did. They're gone. You've made us, because of you, you've made us the righteousness of God. He doesn't look on us and see filthy rags. He looks on us. So he sees you, Jesus, because of your blood. Because your word says, where I see the blood, I will pass away. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In your mighty name, I pray these things. Amen. Amen. Let's drink together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If we could have some help with the cups. Could you just praise him right now? Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just believe and honor you, dear God, for all you've done in, in our time together, community. Lord, we look forward to the day we're going to do this in heaven with you at the kingdom, at the table of the marriage supper of the Lamb. But until that day, we commune with you now, dear God. And thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't he good today, church? He is so Amen. good. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank, you, thank Jesus. you. God bless you. Amen. We celebrate him today. Thank you, Lord. Our King. Brother Woody has a song for us. Whenever you're ready, brother. God bless you, brother. He's going to have a second to set it up. God bless you already. Amen. Had no idea that it was going to tie communion in this morning with this, this song, actually, that uh, my wife picked out. Goes along with that. Communion and his birth. And also goes along with his the blood he shed. 
and the body that was broke for our sins. Through Jesus' willingness to come down on this earth and die for us, we have that bridge between us and heaven, our Father. Just so thankful, Aaron, if you want to start that number one song. Jesus built a bridge, amen. I'm so thankful for that this morning. One day they nailed the carpenter to a rugged tree thinking he would never live
I said last week that I had a testimony that wouldn't quit. Praise God. These scriptures, they're on, on all of your ornaments. If you get that word in your heart, yes. that's the yes. most important thing as far as I'm concerned. I said that the testimony wasn't quite finished. Today, well, let me go back a little further. I stood here and I told you all, I'm expecting God to do the impossible. I'm expecting God to do great things. If only you believe. If you speak to the mountain and believe in your heart, it'll be removed. Well, I need a call. I went and I, I shared that I don't have the credit to go out there and get a loan and get a car. But God saw to it that I could get a loan to get a car. But that, that's not what God had in mind. The car I was going to buy was not for sale all of a sudden. God knew the blazer was going to break down. So we needed to put it in the shop. And when we went to find out how much it was going to cost and tow it from my house to the mechanic, they said it would be probably two weeks. I thought, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? I prayed. And I spoke to this mountain. And I believed in my heart, left it with God. They said to me that they were able to get started on it. They were able to take it out. The transmission went up on it. And that they sent it to the transmission man. And he was going to rebuild it. <coughs> and he said that he's got some time. He can work on it and have it done in about three to four days. Praise God. Amen. When God goes, when God's favor goes before you, let me tell you, things happen. God makes a way where there seems to be no way. And I thought, God, how am I going to pay for this? Again, speak to this mountain. I did. So the mechanic was offering a way to finance this. And I thought, okay, well, let Stevie help finance it. Because there's no way I had the money. So with what the mechanic financed through Stevie, a young man, 18 years old, just starting out, getting started, he was able to finance half the price of this. And with what I had gotten from the world finance, I'm standing here to tell you today, here's a bill for over $2,500 paid in full. That car sits out there in that parking lot. I drove it today, and it Amen. works just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. This song, I, I chose two songs, actually. This first song is Still by Hilary Scott. Nathan or Aaron, if you're ready for that, I'm ready for this because I'm telling you, God is not Lord. He's working. Bring my 
But I overheard you saying that your son's home was totally destroyed. I said, my church wants to help. I said, my church wants to help provide Christmas for somebody that went through this tornado. This woman began to cry. <laughs> and everybody in that post office was touched. I said to her, we got you. I said, Jesus has you. We're going to carry you. We got you. And we began to pray. And so she gave me the names and the ages and everything. And I, I started to work. Let me tell you, church, I've been so blessed this week to be the hands and the feet of Jesus to do the work. I have gone places and done things and collected so many things. In that blazer that sits out there, in the, in the parking lot, I had two huge boxes for this family that came from the Baptist church. I was able to meet with her on Wednesday and Friday. I spoke to her every day this week. And I prayed with her. And I met with her on Friday to give her a gift card because their family really needed some underwear. Necessities. And so now i got food out there in the car. And even God changed the weather so that food in the car set 
from yesterday till today. I'm going to deliver it this afternoon. So, and you know what, y'all? It's not about me. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. This season is all about Jesus. That's why he came. Amen. And the second song, I'm ready to do that. I speak Jesus. It's all about him. Sherry is this song is for you too.
Thank you so much for being me and your seeing this. Y'all have been a blessing to us. And thank you so much for uh, blessing us this way, too. And we love y'all and look forward to good things ahead. Amen. Amen. Can I say something? Real quick, okay? Um, all of the people that if you're a mom, you know, you have a burden for your kids. If you're any kind of parent, you have a burden for your kids. I just want to thank God because my mom never stops praying. Mm -hmm. I went to her house all week. I've heard these songs all week. And my mom never stops praying. And I thank God because she never does. She never listens. Mom, stop praying for me. I don't like this is happening. <laughs> I'm not living the way I'm supposed to. Mom, will you just stop? Just stop. And she never listens. Nope. And I just want to thank God for her praying, Mom. Because Praise the Lord. Yes, amen. 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 We do. Amen. We celebrate that. Amen. Sister, we're glad. We appreciate all that God is using you for and for your family, too. Jesus over your family. Amen. We're so amen. Glad you're That's here. right. It's an answer to prayer. It's an answer to prayer. He's got something good for you, Daddy. Yes, he does. He's got something good for you. Amen. We gonna, we realize our time wanes today, but we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. I want us to take a moment here. Uh, some may know we collected stuff for the nursing home in Auburn, and we have our gifts for our, our folks there. And we want to say a special prayer for that today, that the Lord will just bless it and accomplish good for that in the nursing home. Would you come, sister, and just help and lead us in prayer for, for that today? And uh, we just want to pray today. The Lord will just use this to bless them and encourage them in their lives. Jesus, right now as we come before you, God, Lord, we lift up these gifts before you, dear God, Lord, that, that the residents that will receive these gifts, God, Mr. Um, Mr. Fletcher, dear God, and Miss Evans, I will yes. return to dear God, Lord, that you would just touch them, dear God, or that you would just strengthen them, dear God, Lord, because I know some days that they get lonely in the yes. nurses' home, dear God, yes. even though they may be surrounded, dear God, by lots of people and maybe lots of activities. Maybe they can't get out to do them, or maybe they don't feel like it, dear God. But, Lord, you can touch them right where they are in those rooms, dear God. Lord, you can strengthen them and lift them up, dear God. And, Lord, I just ask that you would do that today. And I ask that these gifts would be a blessing to them to know that they are loved, that yes. they are appreciated, dear God. Lord, that their time yes. has been given, dear God, by taking yes. care of others. For God, it's our time, dear God, to give back to them. And, Lord, I just thank you and I praise you for that. God, just bless them. Lift them up. Strengthen them today, I pray. And, God, we plead your blood upon them. We ask for your hand of protection to be around them and your hand of protection to be upon them, God. Lord, strengthen today, I pray, dear God. And I give you all the glory, honor, and praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, sister. Sister Lanny used to work there at Auburn Nursing. And it's been a blessing to be able to minister to them. And, uh, we do. We are a needy people, and uh, one thing I will request from, from those here that is able, uh, we do need somebody to transport that to the nursing home. So if anybody is able to do that, please let us know, and we will uh, be very glad to have you do that. So um, that is a need for us. And in addition, we uh, Sister Linda's already mentioned about our uh, tornado family. That is the Minton family, and. Yes. Uh, so we have been taking up some supplies with them, and we'll share real quick with, with that. We were taking up some dressers. Brother Woody has already worked on that. Praise God, we've already Praise got that God. together. We've got a ch That's two chests of drawers for this family. Um, and they, you know, they lost everything. They live on Marshall Road, and they, their roof was torn off their house. Yes. I was out there this week. It was, it was rough. But we're work God is helping us. And Mika and I are blessed to be able to participate and collect for one of the folks in the family. Yes. And there are four others. I believe three boys. Is that right, three sister? Three boys. Three boys and the mom. And, dad. and the mom. And so we did want to have everybody in that family to have something to open for Christmas. And so if anybody would be in our group willing to shop around for maybe one of those people in there, we have all the sizes. It's clothes is mostly what they're yes. looking at this point. If you wanted to add something, that's fine. But clothes is the main thing. If anybody would be willing to adopt any of them, uh, just let me know, and we want to facilitate that. I'd just like to say, if anybody has an old worn out dresser, I repair those kinds of things. If they have something sitting around that just needs a little work on it, I can fix it and then donate it to them. Okay. I think we're in good shape. I think we're, we're in good shape. We're in good shape, Yeah, we got two, two of them. 
We got two of them. My right dad now. also works on dress and receipt that he yeah. can he sells and stuff. So if y'all if once again if we know me my dad and him we do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Sounds good. Do they need but, a table and chairs? Four chairs? I'm not sure. Um, they're pretty good right now because what they said is the house they're living in right now was Adam's parents' house and his parents recently passed away. So they're living in his parents' house. So they do have everything that they need as far as stove, refrigerator, washer, dryer, that kind of stuff. Um, but personal items, uh, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. Right. Paper towels, clothes. And the clothes. We we're hoping that the idea is for us to take Christmas, so we're hoping that yes. each one of the additional four work could have something to open. And so see me and Linda if that's something that the Lord weighs on your heart. All right. And uh, we will we will be glad to, to help you facilitate that with the, the clothes. So we want to give them a Christmas and bless them how we can. So See us after church if that's on your heart. Uh, just real quick for us, Brother Bob is sharing tonight. We look forward to what the Lord's going to say through our brother tonight. Uh, we do have a Christmas service Wednesday. We'll share some, like a candlelight type time with us. We'll have some verses that we share. It'll be more focused that direction. So if you can be here Wednesday night, we'd love to have you for that. Does that start? As well. It's at 7 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, 7 o'clock. So, amen. Come on up here, Ross, whenever you're ready. Hey, Nathan. We, uh, when did that need to be delivered to the church? By Friday. About Thursday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Different ways to help and participate. We want to give, and, and we have been asking, we realize a lot of giving this time, but if we look at it as opportunities. Please don't be burdened by any of it. Uh, if that's not on your heart or able to do it, don't worry about it. But if you can, it is an opportunity to step out, and we want to help you with that. We're going to talk in our time we have. He is with us. Do you believe that our, our God is with us? Yes. And so, Ross, before we do that, is going to help receive our tithes and our offerings today. So if you have one of those to give, this is an opportunity to do that. And so thank you, brother, for coming on up here. Let's pray. Hold on just a second before you go. Let's pray. Father, bless these gifts and the givers. Dear God, let it be multiplied into your kingdom for your plan. You have a good plan you want to bring to pass, and we pray you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. everybody today. Can you put up that verse, brother, from Isaiah 714 for us? And we'll go with that from there. And then, yeah, just when you get done, Ross, just take that back to my mom back there in the back, and she'll she'll kind of uh, take it from there and bring the plate back up. Thank you so much, Ross. God's got his hand on Ross. Amen. Amen. He's got his hand on Ross. Amen. So, you ever wondered if God is there? You ever wondered? I have. I have. We wonder that. I do want to read this for us. Stay up here. Hang up here. Hang up here, Ross, real quick. He's going to help us with something here, too. He's going to be a big helper today. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Father, bless your word today. Let it accomplish everything you send it for us to do, dear God. The good you would have. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sometimes we don't see the Lord, but we were reminded that this verse is still true for us today. He is God with that name, Emmanuel. You may have heard it over the years. might not think much about it, but it means literally God with us. God with us. He is with us in whatever we go through, even though we're not maybe looking. So Ross will come around behind me here. We talked about this. And so Ross is representing God today, okay? So here's the thing. Isn't it awesome that God is with you whatever you're going through? So if you're rejoicing, <laughs> he's rejoicing right there back behind you. You know that? Amen. And right with you. He's, he's not leaving. You might not see him. He's back there. But, but he is rejoicing. You know, sometimes we, we mourn. We cry. We, we, we just go through it. Guess what? He mourns with us too. 
Isn't that awesome, Ross? He mourns. He mourns. And if we make our journey through life, we're walking, we're going here and there and yon. He's right there. Where he's keeping up with us step by step all the way. Amen? He's Amen. keeping up. If our hands need to do something, if our hands need to reach out, guess who's reaching out with us? Right. Our Lord. Our Savior Jesus reaching out with us to help somebody else in need, to do whatever our hands find to do. He's reaching out with us. And also, guess what? Whenever we come and are ready to talk to Him and to pray, we're ready to pray. He's praying right there with us. Amen. Amen. Isn't it awesome? You're not talking to somebody who is a dead God. You're not talking to somebody that doesn't care to talk back to you. You are talking to God with us who's with you all the way. Can we have a hand for our Amen. Thank you, boss. He did good. Well, I just want to share with us briefly here. He is with you. He is with you. In Logan County, we need that name today. Amen. Emmanuel. We need his name for what we're going through. We don't know always why, folks. It's happened to them like it's happened with the tornadoes and everything else going on. But we do know this. His presence makes a difference. He is there. Even if we don't always hear from Him right then, He is present with us in, in everything we have. We take it all the way back to the beginning. You know, God was with us at the creation, Adam and Eve, you know, right? He walked with them in the garden. But sadly, Adam and Eve chose to go their own way and pushed Him away. And Ahaz was a bad king. And when we read this verse 714, uh, basically, he was saying, I don't want a sign, but God said, I'm going to give you a sign anyway. God with us. God with us. And I'm glad he was willing to save me and be with me. Just like Ahaz, we realized we pushed God away. Just like Adam and Eve, we pushed God away. I'm glad he kept coming to me when I might have pushed him away as a scared little boy. And he came to me anyway, and he saved me. He yeah. saved me. He is God with us today to come to us and to change us. This virgin that can see the child, it stands for Jesus. You think, well, it's impossible for the virgin to have a child. But if God is with us, He does the impossible. He does what nobody else will do. He does that for us, and He'll do it for you. And I remind us today that when we're going through it, the floods of life will come. Sometimes by our choice, and sometimes by the choice of others. In Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 8, Brother Bob has for us up there, uh, I'm, I'm skipping a few verses, brother, just for, for the sake here. But we do realize the troubles come. For Israel, for, for God's people, Assyria was a nation coming against them, a powerful nation that the enemy was using against them. And in Isaiah 8, verse 8, it's talking about Assyria. Being, he will pass through Judah. He will overflow and pass over. He will reach up to your neck. And the stretching out of his wings will fill the breath of your land. Oh, man, you will. Oh, Emmanuel. And so it's look here. Sometimes we feel helpless, maybe as we watch the waters rise, whatever the need is in your life, whether it be just a lack of something, you're missing what you, you need, or maybe it's something bad that the enemy has put in. There's all those there. And it's like, where are you, oh, Emmanuel? Where, it's coming up to the breadth of your land, oh, Emmanuel. Where are you? Where are you? The waters come up to here, and it seems like we can't take any more. But I remind us who is greater. I remind us who is greater is with us today. Look at verse 10, if you will, of Isaiah chapter 8. The Bible says it like this. Take counsel together, being the forces of darkness, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. Amen. Today, whatever the enemy has against you, God is with you today. Amen. He has something good uh, in store, even if you don't see it right now, because no amount of evil, no plan can stand against you, is what the Bible says right here. If we stand in Jesus' name, He is with us. The devil can attack with his most, but He is still there. God is with you today. <coughs> and I'm thankful today, and time and again, as I've stepped out, uh, to take jobs or in sickness and it just feels like you know, I don't know what to do God where are you in this he shows up right in time sometimes we seek him sometimes it's not in our time we're patient but as we're patient he is still God with us God with us showing up in our hour of indecision oh I've had to get the people praying anybody had to get them praying pray. You need, we need to Sometimes we have to turn to His Word, as our sister said. The Word is our foundation. Yes. He is with us through that Word. 
Patiently wait for what the good he has. He will be with you and show himself. Yes. It's just a matter of time. We will see it. We will see it. God is with us. God is with us. Has anybody had the temptations you go through? It's like, where are you, God, in these temptations? We're tempted for this or for that I have. And it's like, it feels like he's, he's so far away. I don't know. I can't feel anything. There's nothing there. But you know what? At the right time, at just the right moment, just as Jesus came as a baby at just the right time, he is God with us. He shows up. Amen. He shows up in an amazing way. And he changes everything. You say, well, Nathan, I, I heard this. And I know about this. How do we know it's true? We do through Jesus and through His life. And yes. I want to share with that for us just a moment. Philippians chapter 2 and verses 5 through 7. Yes. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made Himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. I share that about Jesus with us to say this. He lived as one of us, as one of you. He was here in every way that your person, Jesus, was there. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to obey anybody. He's God. Very equal with God, it says here. But he made himself of no reputation and came to be with us. And well, why, why would he do that? A little story might help real quick. You know, I came out of school and I went into a church immediately. It was a Korean church. The folks there were spoke Korean and a little different culture. And, uh, you know, I came out of school with all the theology and all the teaching. And so I, I felt pretty good about my teaching. And so you teach them. And uh, the thing is, they might not have understood a lot of what I was saying. But you know where I, they really begin to connect with me is when I tried to speak Korean. I didn't study Korean in school, and my Korean would be hilariously bad. I, I would say, it, you know, I go, yo will sell, and uh, that's what you say on a telephone. You don't say that in person, and so it was wrong, but they loved it. They loved it. I was working, and I was coming where they were as, as one of them, as, as somebody is, even though I was horrible at it. It wasn't the theology. Oh, you know, look at my theology here. It was through that. I'm glad Jesus comes to us, not through his strength, through his weakness. Yes. Through the weakness that we that we experience, he came as one of us, and we can identify with him. I know he's been where I've been, and that makes me realize today I will be okay. It's going to be all right in what I'm going through, what you're going through today. He is God with us, exactly where we've been and where we will be. And he lived with us. He died with us. He knew we faced death, so he faced it for us on the cross—a horrible death, so that we could know him. He made a way for us to live with Him forever. Why? He wants to be with us. He came and died on the cross so we could be with Him forever. And so Paul said when Philippians was all said and done in 4 or 5, he said it like this, The Lord is at hand. The Lord is at hand. I'm thankful today that in all that, even still with us today, He is here. He is with us. Yes, he is. And He has something even better coming for us soon. And brother, I might not put this verse in there. My memory fails if I did. Revelation 21 and verse 3. Revelation 21 and verse 3. The Bible says this. So we take it from Genesis to Revelation here. Uh, he is going to be with us. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they will be His people. And God Himself will be with him and be with God. Amen. I'm thankful today Amen. we're with him forever. He says, I'm going to be with you. You know, you ever had to call, make a call into a center or someplace and you get the secretary or the you, you call around, you go around and around. Sometimes you just need to, to talk to the one in charge, right, and be with him. And, and I do that in my job. I had to deal with that this week. But I'm reminded of this verse that he himself is going to walk with us. He will come with us just like we, we would walk together now. Just like the old song, In the Garden, He walks with me and talks. We will literally see that just like I'm seeing you now. We will walk together just like Adam did so long ago. What we were made for. We will walk and be in fellowship with Jesus forever and ever and ever. So what's my idea here? I just remind us, He's with us today. And whatever you're going through, 
He's not Santa Claus, but He sees you when you're sleeping. Amen? He knows when you're away. He knows what you're going through today. Yes, He does. And, and, and He experienced that on earth. You may remember there's a passage, Jesus rejoiced with His disciples and said this, I rejoice that you gave these things to little children. He was with them in the joy. But you know what? He was with them in the sorrow too of the cross. The hardest times of the cross. There were some missionaries to India, and they said that the strongest they ever felt God being in India was in the human trafficking brothel when they went back in with some of the madams that had been saved, and they were going back in to pray rescue for those women that were that were basically enslaved there. And they, they felt God's presence stronger than they'd ever felt it before. Whatever, excuse me, whatever darkness you're going through, whatever light you're going through, as we celebrate Christmas and the joys of it, whatever you're going through today, remember, He came as that baby in that stable in that manger to be with you. And He is with you no matter what. No matter what. Amen? Amen. He is with you. And so today we want to pray for you that He is present. And we encourage you to reach out to Him now if you need Him. Reach out to Him now. He is present today. If you need to be saved, anybody out there, if you need to make it right with God, He is here. He is God with us. If you need to be healed, if you need a miracle of some other type, He is God with us here. Can we pray? Father, in the name, above all names, the name of Jesus, that Lord, You came to be present with us. We know people are going through a lot, even in Logan County. They've been through it, dear God. But you are still with us. And we pray for anybody out there that's going through it. That, Lord, I reveal yourself that you are with them. You never left them, dear God. But as the old poem says, you carried them through the sand. You carried them through, Lord God. And I pray this. That, Lord, if anyone's not right with you, if they wouldn't fellowship with you forever, if they wouldn't have that time with you, that you save them today to the uttermost, Lord. That you make it right with that they will make it right with you and you will make it right with them. And, Lord, it will just be a beautiful time as they just surrender it to you, give it to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are God today. Show yourself, we pray, in, in every need, dear God. Every miracle. If someone needs a miracle that's here or watching, do it, Lord, because you are God with us. You are God with us. You've already done so many, dear God. But oh, we tend to forget. But we ask, dear God, today, you make yourself real as we pray to you. Make yourself real. just want to ask today in this house, is there anybody here that needs just a work? They need to see God revealed in them, in their hearts or in their minds or in their bodies. Could you lift up a hand? God bless you. They need to make right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've already prayed for some this morning already, but if anybody else wants to come forward, you're welcome. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for every hand that represents someone, dear God, you are with today as they come to you. As they come to you with, with their hands open, you are with them, dear God. If we ask, you show yourself strong in Jesus' name. If they need a miracle in their heart, dear God, to make them right with you, do it, Lord. If they need a physical miracle, dear God, from the head to their toes, touch them, Lord. And if they need, Father, finances, encouragement, touch them, Lord. A blessing from you, Father, we pray that you will show yourself with them. Not only now, but as we go through this Christmas week, dear God. As we go through this and they're the they're loneliest, dear God, show yourself that you're present with them. That or that maybe they're in a crowd of people, but they feel more alone than ever. And we just ask that you show yourself as God with them. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray these things. We love you today. For those on, we're going to do a little bit more here, but for those out there watching us, we love you. Just pray. If, we, if you don't see us, have a Merry Christmas. But we'll be back with you tonight. We, we look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you. For those.